Is the grass always greener on the other side from r slash relationships? I am a 36 year old male married to my wife, 36 female for 11 years. And I can't stop thinking about a girl I dated for one month, 16 years ago. I have what I would consider to be a good, healthy relationship with my wife. For some reason though, I recently am unable to stop thinking about a girl I dated 16 years ago for the entirety of a month. The relationship was normal for two 20 year olds. We like to low key hang out and have lots of lovemaking. The relationship ended abruptly one day as she and I hung out with a group of people on Saturday night and did our normal thing at home, then got up Sunday and went to a friend's college graduation party. Then as I remember it, she seemed super distant and just up and left. And that was the end of it. I remember at the time, I took the breakup really hard. I called off work for three days, got super wasted and cried to my friends. The other night, I had a dream about her and in the dream, I kept calling her the one that got away. I know that this isn't true in any sense of the word. We definitely both went completely different directions in life as far as I know. I don't really know much about her and as we completely stopped talking at the end of our relationship and never stayed friends. Ever since that dream, I've been rehashing those four to five weeks 16 years ago over and over again in my mind and it is driving me nuts. I'm not sure how to bring this up to my wife or if I should even mention it. I've read a few self-help articles saying that this all really points to me just never getting closure in the relationship. Any and all advice would be greatly appreciated. The top comment states, don't mention this to your wife. This is your midlife crisis problem to deal with. You are fearing aging and fearing growing older with the undone. This isn't about that girl 16 years ago. It's about you worrying about all the things you haven't done with your life. Therapy for you or learn to deal with the fact that you're going to get older and there's always going to be other things that you can't be a part of. A comment responding to that one stated, yeah, definitely don't mention that to your wife. We have another top comment here stating, a lot of the time, it's easy to romanticize something that happened forever ago because you forget about the bad parts and all the reasons that person wasn't meant for us. Just remember that it ended for a reason and you love your wife. Another comment states, don't mention it to your wife. Odds are in another month, this girl will have completely left your mind, but your wife might still be anxious if you tell her. This means literally nothing besides that you're temporarily stuck going, what if? It's not about the girl at all. She would be a total stranger to you and was pretty much a total stranger to you while you were dating her for barely enough time for a mouse to gestate a litter. It's not even about the lack of closure. What closure do you need from something that barely began? You are just in a rut we sometimes get into when your life is good, but you wonder if it could have been better. Concentrate on what you have, and if you have areas of dissatisfaction, think of ways to improve those in the future. The weather warming up, see if you can get out of the house and do something with your life. And don't give these thoughts more weight than they actually have. Now, OP responded to this and stated, if she is a complete and total stranger. I don't ever recall seeing her on social media over the years when I used it, and I literally have nothing more than a small inkling of what she is doing as a career currently and nothing more. I just had to mention this to my wife yesterday that she and I need to get out and just do something together. We have another comment here stating, I think it's natural to get nostalgic about our younger years with fresher bodies and fewer worries. So yeah, as someone who is also in their mid thirties, I don't love the amount I have to think about retirement planning. Now as a compared to how little worried I was back when I had a job then. I remember taking multiple days off work for a bender when I turned 21. I can't even fathom what that would feel like now. At some point, it's worth talking to your wife about how you feel approaching middle age and how every step further from youth makes you feel. 
she probably wants to share the same with you. But I don't think it's great to specifically share. I keep thinking about the great lovemaking I had with one girlfriend, and I wish we had done it more. There's probably a better way to talk about what you're nostalgic about from that time in your life, just in more generic terms with respect to your lovemaking life back then. OP responded, I think this is right here. I had just become active in the fraternity I pledged. I was in the best shape of my life. I always felt like I had trouble with girls. So this organic relationship came along out of the blue and I'm just romanticizing about that short period. She just happens to be part of that. Maybe I need to work on getting back to myself in shape because that is something I can do and can relive. Now there is an update to this story that we're going to be covering. So OP states here in the update. So I mentioned to my wife vaguely that I was having a bit of a midlife crisis and ruminating on my past a bit too much, that I miss how I was physically at my peak in college. She said is she is also having a bit of a crisis and worried about her long-term health and missing the shape she was in before having kids. We made a commitment to each other to get into shape and having changed our eating habits and bought a treadmill. I've been working out daily and my rumination issues have really dwindled. We also plan on taking a nice vacation and a few get togethers with friends in the next few months. Now the top comment states, that's a great update. I can promise you that the one month relationship would have never worked out because it didn't. And how it ended suggests that it was never had any staying power. I hope that getting into shape helps you both. I think the pandemic has also made relationships tough because you're likely no longer getting out and doing the things that brought you together or simply having time apart and separate interests. At least this has been the case with my marriage. I think that would make it really tempting to fantasize about some other reality that could have been, but really it could have never been. Another commenter here states, the fantasy is what kills us. It never plays out like it does in our heads. I mean, I even ruminate about potential relationships that happen because I fantasize about it, the could be's, and then get disappointed. It's easy to get huge crushes on people because we fantasize about what they might be like. But then when we get to know the other person, we've been imagining things about what we realize is all a lie and the lust crush fades away. I bet OP is fantasizing Jokes like this with the girl, and in reality, this could have ended up having a terrible relationship or just platonic. This is a really great comment here. I learned a technique for getting stuff that keeps popping into my head to go away, and it worked for me, and it helped my brother with something too. Step one, get a minimum of 15 minutes where you go uninterrupted and sit down and start writing your thoughts down. Write it down with an actual pen and paper and not on a computer. Just write whatever comes to mind, but keep writing for 15 minutes. And if you run out of things to write, just repeat yourself, it's fine. Step two, burn the paper, literally burn it. Careful not to burn your house down. Step three, do this every day or every other day until you've done it at least four times. The psychologist that told me this technique explained that often when you have thoughts that keep coming back over and over, it's because instead of processing them into a conclusion, you're stuck in the mental loop that is self-reinforcing. By writing things down in an uninterrupted fashion and in a method where you can completely be honest with yourself because you know no one will ever see it, you help yourself develop a mental path out of those thoughts. I've used it twice and it works both times. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is the grass always greener on the other side? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and click on the screen right now to watch another Reddit story.